Hey everyone, so in today's video we're taking a look at the new Alice Through the Looking Glass limited edition dolls. They're limited to 4,000 each and we have Alice herself and the Red Queen. So let's take a look at these. I think you can open the box without tearing it apart. There's a ribbon here on the back. So I think I can slip it open and take the front off and then we can get a good look at the dolls without fully unboxing it. So we'll just do a quick overview of them in the boxes. There's a see-through top. That is what it looks like. And the back. And if you want to read that, you can pause it. Then the Red Queen. Similar style box. I actually like her box design better. I'm not a huge fan of these colors, but hers is super awesome. And if you'd like to read that, you can pause it and read it. Okay, now let's undo the ribbons and take a look. I'm destroying the beauty. Whoosh. That was actually really nice because I didn't have to demolish the box to open it up. There was the front piece that slid right off, the back piece, and then even this plastic piece just slid off. It wasn't taped or anything so we can get a nice close-up look. But first, I wanna take a look at the certificate. Ooh, that is a pretty certificate. <laughs> certificate of Authenticity, Elizabeth the Red Queen Collector Doll. This limited edition doll released in 2016 by Disney Store has been carefully designed by Disney Store artists to ensure every detail was captured. We hope you will enjoy this heirloom doll for years to come. And this is number 281 out of 4,000. And then that's what it looks like on the back. It just looks like it's the French version. It's kind of neat how it's in plastic. Now let's take a look at the doll itself. Very pretty. They captured the heart shape a bit better than they did with the 12 inch dolls. And then she has her rooted eyelashes. This part here is just sculpted. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I feel like it has the right texture to it, but it'd be nice if it was actual fabric. I think it's because of this sculpted bit here, but maybe they could have put something on top and used like a leather lookalike fabric for this. Ooh, the detailing on the back is pretty nice. Look at all this stitching. Ooh, very nice. Then we have the upside down heart sculpted into there. And she has all these little ribbony bits. It looks so fabulous. There is this plastic here, which is it's kind of a shame you can see it so much, but it's just so that it holds its shape because it's not a full skirt. It's really just these ribbon pieces that are kind of jointed together. It's kind of like a skeleton of a skirt. So that's pretty neat. Peeking in at her boots. Ooh, those are really nice. I love the details on those. <laughs> and the hearts on the back. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Sorry you're not getting a perfect look at this, but I do want to leave her intact in the box. What I love about this outfit is her pants so much. I love the leggings and the detail on the side. I just think it looks so good. Then there's some more ribbon up here. And along her arms, they have these thorns. This little bit here, I don't know what to call it. It's not really lace, it's like a little stringy, stringy bit embroidery on the poofs. She's holding her scepter thing, wand. I don't know what you wanna call it. Is it supposed to be bent like that? I don't know, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> well, it looks straightish. From the front sort of it's pretty nice though with the jewels here the top looks like a gummy candy or something <laughs> but yeah that's super detailed it's pretty nice so that is a look at her shring shring so fancy okay now we have alice out hee <laughs> hee and here's her certificate of authenticity. She's actually number 807 out of 4,000. 
That's cute. It's making me like the color scheme a little bit better. <laughs> and then here she is in this outfit. I don't really know what to call this outfit, but it's very pretty. In the movie, it looked a bit more like her pants were a skirt. Like you could tell it was pants, but it was really loose so that it kind of looked like a skirt. Very loose and floofy. Anyway, let's take a closer look. I love the face. I feel like it looks so much like the actress. And then she has a little fan in her hair. Look at that face with her rooted eyelashes. Actually, there's one rogue eyelash here. Okay, well now the rogue eyelash is just lying down so you can't even really tell it's there. <laughs> her hair is so beautifully curled. Ooh, that's very nice. I'm gonna try to not disturb it. Because <laughs> if I run my fingers through it, it'll ruin it. So yeah, ooh. And this bit here is plastic with the little tassels. This is my favorite part of this outfit is the way that this spikes up at the shoulders. I just think the spiky shoulders look so good. So yeah, it's not my favorite part of the doll, but design wise overall, it's my favorite part of the outfit. And this has so much embroidery on it. Well, first of all, there's this purple pattern in the back and then the embroidery on top so beautiful and then underneath well I guess that underside's purple and then there's the red seam along it or hem I should say whatever you want to call it and then this orange bit a few more fringes and that matches her sleeves which split open to reveal the orange with the fringe oh yeah 17 inch dolls are always so nice <laughs> she's holding the chronosphere in her hand wow they come with stands but I just can't I don't know I just can't bring myself to take it out I just I can't <laughs> here's a close look at her pants these little bits you know, the pleats the hem which has a lot of detail in it or the cuff I don't, even, I don't know what to call it I don't know these clothing terms <laughs> Then her boots are pretty interesting. They're pretty plain, but they're black and white. Little dots. They're still pretty interesting. It's an interesting shoe choice to go with this outfit. Well, this whole outfit is an interesting choice. Like, all the choices are interesting. Cause it's like, I wasn't sure how I felt about the outfit when I first saw it, like in the trailer and stuff. But then when I was watching the movie, I was like, okay, this is actually a pretty cool outfit. So I like it. I mean, my favorite is still her sea captain outfit, but you know, probably not going to get a doll of that. So this will have to do. <laughs> and the 12 inch doll is wearing the other outfit, which helps even things out. So yeah, very gorgeous though. I love it. I think the face is just what drew me to it the most. The face and the hair. I was just like, okay, I need this doll. <laughs> well, there's a look at the two Alice limited edition dolls. And if you want to see more limited edition dolls, I do have more coming in future videos. They're older ones that I haven't shown in videos yet, like I mentioned. But uh, yeah, I like these. <laughs> All right. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.